welcome to our channel. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Hugo. We are Sell Quick, Ship Quick, part-time resellers. Full-time hustlers. And today we wanted to share with you my photography setup. Yeah, um, we've talked about it in the past and it comes down to setting things up that works best for you, but at the end of the day, the less steps, the better. Literally, the less physical steps, the better. Like with your feet, steps. So, yeah, I, we have an actual room where I take photos in because it's our guest room. Um, normally, the bed is set up a certain way for guests, but because we're taking photos, I push the bed in a corner. Um, I have a folding table that I will unfold and pull out that has a measuring tape. Um, I got all the goodies in there and as you will see um, how I have it set up and I have it set up this way literally for maximum efficiency with less steps. Less steps. Um, out of curiosity, in the comments, count how many steps you have to take to get one picture of an item done. Just curious. Yeah. Hi everyone, it is Photo Friday. I take all our photos or try to take all our photos on Fridays since I work in batches uh, once I take all our photos I upload it to the computer so that they're ready to be dragged and dropped for our listings throughout the week um, so as you can see there's a rack behind me and I am standing in our photo room which is actually our guest bedroom and today I just wanted to give you a little tour of our setup, um, how I like to have my things placed so that I can maximize my time and get the most photos out as possible. Okay everyone, so I have my rack right here. Um, this, all our items have been prepped. Uh, they're ready to just get photographed. They've been washed or steamed. Um, Tags taken off, just ready to go. And it is right next to the wall where I take our photos. So this is just a white wall. We have a command hook right there. Um, over here, we have the dress form in case I need to take photos using that. And right here, right behind me, we have a table that I have set up with the measuring tape already on it. Um, since I do do the tops first, I have our little whiteboard that I made. Um, at the top, I do put a title just in case the photos get mixed up there. So I just write down the title of the item or the brand name. There's the size, um, the chest measurement, pit to pit, and then the length measurement right here. I do have a separate whiteboard for bottoms. And so on the bottoms... I have this one, and we have size, waist laid flat, the rise, and the inseam. Um, on the rack, I do have it set up where it's all the tops first, and then I'll have the bottoms at the end, so I only need to keep one whiteboard on the table. Right next to that, I have we have a dresser that we have set up, and I have our clear bags in there. Um, there's a lint roller, some scissors in case I see any hanging threads. Um, I have my coffee, I have my water, and then I have my laptop. And my laptop is so that I can watch The Office while I take pictures. Um, and then I have a little Google Home so that I could time myself. Uh, and yeah, so here's our setup. I have everything within, like, basically arm's reach so that my time is maximized. And then I have the bins down here so that when I take the photos, I can plop them in a bag and then stick them in order inside those postal bins so that I can place them next to my desk for photos, for our listings.
So that was my photography setup. Strictly for clothes because our hard goods and shoes get taken photos of outside in the garage. Um, we do have an Amazon light box out there. We can show that in a, another video. Um, yeah. But that was my clothing setup. Yeah, if you notice, again, it was set up or is set up for efficiency. Less steps, the better. Um, down to having everything you need so you don't have to even leave the room for a bit. Yeah, so my water, my coffee, Google, uh, the laptop to listen to something. Um, I'll alternate between like music, YouTube, Netflix, but I like to keep stuff that I've already watched in the background just to have noise. So it's usually the office. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the Google, I have been able to maximize my efficiency because of timing myself. So I will talk to Google and ask Google to set a timer for 30 minutes. And this is how I started. Set a timer for 30 minutes and I would see how long it took me or how many items I could photograph, me photograph, measured, and bagged in that 30 minutes. Um, and then I would evaluate my steps to see where I could decrease like work time. Yeah, in other words, cut out a step or make things a little bit closer, um, change the order of steps yes. to make it efficient. There's been a lot of trial and error with um, the photography setup and how I wanted things. I, at one point, thought I had to do flat lays when I first started selling on Poshmark because most people do flat lays. I realized flat lays was not for me. I did not enjoy doing them. Um, I was just not fast with the flat lays. So we discovered a command hook uh, that you can buy at your local store or on Amazon. Um, and uh, stuck that to a wall and hung it up and the pictures come out fast, clear, efficient and it has now, my timing has gone down to anywhere from one to three minutes per item for photos, measurements, and bagging. And it just depends on, I guess like- The type of item. The type of item. Um, but yeah, one to three minutes to do all of that. Um, I, I'd say my time has been maximized. I'm gonna say yes. Um, but yeah, so that's my setup and uh, I have everything literally a step away or a slide away a slide if I'm wearing away. socks. Yeah, if you're in, if you're in socks, you, you lose traction and you just start sliding around. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the photography video um, and we would love to know how you have your process set up. Yeah. So let us know, share, we're always up for learning. And if you want to take it a step further on Instagram, take a sh picture of your setup and tag us so we can see what you got and we'll share it too. Oh, and also I know I showed the mannequin or the dress form, but I didn't use it. It just takes me a lot longer to set or, you know, to put items on it. So what I'll do is I do all of my hanging stuff first and then anything that needs to go on the dress form gets shoved to the end and then I do all of that in one shot so I don't have to keep moving it in and out. Yeah. But yeah. So, as always, thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.